Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I wanted to talk about today must haves for newborn babies. I'm a mom of nine, so I done tried a lot of things. So now I know what works best for me and my kids and um, what don't. First of all, I want to tell you if you hear any noise in the background, you probably hear my kids running and raging through the house. But the first thing I wanted to jump into is about pillows. So I know everyone loved the Boppy pillow. I have one as well. This is the Boppy pillow. And I like this pillow um, for putting my baby in to, to prop her up to sit for sitting in and lounging. But for breastfeeding, this ain't it. Okay, if you want to know what works well for me for breastfeeding, this is the Breast Friend pillow. I love this pillow. This is what it looks like. It has a Velcro strap. So it can adjust around your waist and you can adjust it to your accordingly to your likings. It has a pocket to keep little things in that you like to keep when you're about to breastfeed your baby. You can put a little bib in there, burp cloth, your um, nipple cream, whatever it is that you need. If you have pacifiers for your babies, whatever. So it, it's really flat. It's wide and flat. And it has a bump here and a bump here to rest the baby head on to keep her closer, cl him or her closer to your nipple for breastfeeding. So this does well for me and it's good. You should try it. Um, but let's talk about comfort for mom, right? Because they was talk about for the baby. But what about mom? I love a backrest pillow. Now, every time I breastfeed, I have to use this. Like, especially in the middle of the night when you get the baby, you half sleep and you want to recline, lay back and relax while you breastfeeding and you're in the bed. I use this. I actually have two of them. I got them from Target.com and I paid $12 a piece for them. I'm quite sure they should have them in the store as well. And for $12, you can't go wrong. And it works really good. I love it. Um, it's good even if you just want to sit up and watch TV while you're in your bed. Even though you could prop pillows up, it don't feel the same as the backrest. I usually sit this on top of my pillow so it could be more higher and a little bit more comfortable. The next pillow I want to talk about is, I know a lot of people have the um, uh, Boppy Lounger. I never actually had that because I've always had this pillow. Um, it's the Leech Co, the Leech Co pillow, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And, um, it has the, the, um, spot in the middle where you put the baby's bottom and the baby rests up here. I had this pillow through many of my kids. It works well. You can take the cover off. It's very easy to take the cover off to, um, clean it. It, um, also has, um, the um, thing right here to adjust the um, position you want the baby in and it's really good so I never had the need to buy anything else this works well for me and my baby I, I don't remember where I got it from I'm quite sure they have it on Amazon or any other baby store to purchase it but I had it for years and it's comfortable for the baby if the baby's crying usually when I sit her in this she do fine so the next thing I want to talk about is um, bath time for baby and what works well for my babies, myself, and my kids. And that is Dove, period. Dove, you cannot go wrong when I'm in the um, doctor's office um, with the babies and my kids. And like I have a daughter that's um, six years old. She has eczema. And they always tell me to use Dove. Dove is good for the baby. Dove is good for you. Dove is good for the family. So you can't go wrong. So um, right now, this is the baby's Dove lotion. And this is the baby's Dove tip to toe wash. And this is for the sensitive, um, sensitive skin one. I have two of each and I love them. I even have the big one for myself, the adult size big one for myself. So these work well for bath time. Now I want to talk about um, sleeping gowns. Now I know a lot of people like sleeping gowns. Um, some people like the ones that you have that you zip up. I had those. I still don't um, particularly care for them because it's a lot. And then some people have the button up ones. 
So what works well for me is is gowns, <laughs> baby gowns, okay? Um, they're long, so it covers the body, it covers the feet, it keeps the baby warm. And all you got to do is lift it to change the diapers, lift it right on up, and um, it works great. And this one particular one I got from um, Burlington Coat Factory. It was $6.99 and it came with a hat and it came with mittens. It also have um, the mittens attached to the baby's arm where you, the baby's hand, where you could just slip over the baby's hand and um, you can keep your baby from scratching their face or um, so you may have a thumb sucker, you don't want the baby hand in the mouth. Sometimes my hands feel a little cold and I just use that. But yeah, cause I ain't using no zippers, that ain't for me, no buttons, that ain't for me in the middle of the night when I'm tired. So that works great. The next thing I wanna talk about is a um, diaper caddy. So this is my diaper caddy. Since I have more than one floor in my house and I keep the essentials I need for in it, for downstairs so if I'm downstairs with the baby in my arm I have my toddler and I don't want to be running up and down those stairs then I have everything I need in here so what I keep in here is the baby's changing mat some hand sanitizer the baby's wipe of course, diapers. I have diapers for the newborn. And I have diapers for my um, one-year-old son. So I can change his diaper as well. I keep an extra receiving blanket. And of course, um, another nightgown. Because ain't nobody got time for no zippers and buttons. So <laughs> that's what I have. So I keep that in here. And I also have um, a bib. And I use these little cloths right here. You get them from the hospital. Um, I had a whole pack of them. So I use them when I burp her to clean her or whatnot. These come in handy. Um, I have the, um, the little baggies that um, I forgot the name of this particular brand I have. They smell like um, baby powder. And you just put the um, diapers in here once you do uh, um, number two to put in the garbage to take outside. Now, something I also keep by my bedside as well as in my diaper caddy is a um, nightlight. These are really good to have. This is another must have because um, in the middle of the night, you don't want to turn the light on to be disturbing nobody's peace. You don't want to disturb your own peace because the light is too bright. You're going to change her diaper. You might just need a night light while she's sleeping not to wake her. So this worked good. I got this out of Walmart, I believe, for maybe $3.99 or something like that. And it's just like a switch on the wall up and down. So it's good to have two, one for the basket and one for your bedside. Now, another thing I keep on with me is the, um, some diaper rash cream, which is the Aqua 4. Now, I have the big tub of the Aqua 4. I keep that one upstairs. So, I just got a little traveling um, tube that I put this one in. I scoop some out and put some in here because I have a six-year-old who has eczema, like I said before. And the doctors told me to use the Aqua 4 for her. And as well as... Um, babies you could use it for a diaper rash cream and um whatnot so it's really good so i like to keep that every change i put it on her bottom to prevent diaper rash um another thing that i have i want to talk about is a must have is the clorox wipes um these are the clorox wipes to go i love these things you know when you go to the mall the doctor's office or anywhere and they have the changing table in the bathroom that you pull down and change your baby on yes you have a um changing mat but that thing is still dirty and then you had to fold that changing mat up and put it in your diaper bag and take it back home to your house uh no um i use these right here to clean down the changing table that i'm gonna rest my baby on also, you can wipe down the baby's changing mat after you're done with it. 
and um, you could clean any surface that you have to put the baby on or you will be touching while you have your baby. And this is just a little pack on to go. I got it off of Target.com and I paid, I believe, 99 cents for it. So you can go and grab you, you can go ahead and grab you a couple of packs. Keep one in your diaper caddy, keep one in your diaper bag, keep one in your living room, your dining room, and your kitchen. Because um, if you have babies, you don't want them germs up on your baby, right? Okay. So yes, yeah, so this is my um, diaper caddy I keep downstairs for the baby. The next uh, basket I wanna talk about is a breastfeeding basket. I like to keep in my room for my baby. First off in the basket, I like to keep a water bottle. At night, I put fresh water, fresh ice. You know, when you are breastfeeding, you get dehydrated and um, ain't nobody got time to be trying to run downstairs to no kitchen to get no fresh bottle of water or no fresh water, period. You want to have everything you need, whether it's snacks, water in your basket by your bedside. I also keep a burp cloth and a bib as well in the caddy so that way i mean the basket so that way when i'm feeding her and i need to burp her wipe her mouth i already have one on demand i don't have to go in her drawers or looking for one it's a breast pump i never had the breast pump yet because um what well, i strictly breastfeed she doesn't drink from bottles or anything or suck pacifiers so the breasts do just fine for me but what I do use, and I do store milk because I never know if I have to go somewhere and my husband's going to be with her and uh, let's say I don't get back in time to give a feeding. It's just an emergency I'm going to go or I might just need a glass of wine, you know, and um, you don't want to breastfeed your baby after that. So you want to have some milk on demand for your baby. So this is the, I believe it's pronounced the Hakra, the Hakka, the Hakka, I believe. And what this do is you just you just flip it back and you um, you flip when you're breastfeeding from one breast because when you breastfeed you usually have let down in another breast so you just flip it back and then you suction it right onto your breast and it collects the let down so um, I usually could collect anywhere she's only five weeks now so you know your your body produced the amount of milk needed so I usually could collect anywhere from two to three ounces right now and I know as time go on and I produce more milk as she eats more it'll probably go up in collecting amount but this is good because you don't have to pump you don't have to do anything you just um, put it on your chest you feed your baby collect some milk and then you put it in storage bags which is another must-have with this so I have the Lancino storage bags I really like them they're um, they're already sealed um, closed you just rip the top off and then um, you pour the milk into the bag and you store it in the freezer I have some already um, in the freezer stored like I just told you for a rainy day or an emergency also I have nipple cream I got these nipple creams at the hospital. I got, um, it's the Medela brand. I got several of them. So I usually keep one in my diaper bag, one in my breastfeeding basket. These work really good if you have sore, tender nipples when you breastfeed, then you know what I'm talking about. And this come in handy. You can um, put it on your nipple and there's no need to wash it off or clean it when you're about to breastfeed the baby. So that's good to have as well as um, nursing pads. So it's just like if you have a leaky breast or your breast is leaking, you just put those in your, everybody knows, you just put them in your bra to catch the um, milk and then you throw them away when you finish. They have some reusable ones you can actually buy on Amazon. Next thing I wanted to mention is a diaper genie. I think diaper genies are very important. It is really good to put the store the diapers in until you take the bag after you finish and it gets filled up you take the bag straight outside and get rid of it and you don't smell it so oh the next thing i wanted to talk about too this is really good is the um the nasal aspirator for babies i got this off of um amazon and they had like a lightning deal now i use the bulb that i um got the baby from i got from the hospital for the baby um, that's free. I got a few of those. They gave me more than one. I probably got like three or four of them and it really works good. But I heard people talking about how great the nose Frida was. 
but that's like twenty dollars. I'm not paying twenty dollars for that. Not when I can use the bulb from the hospital for free, right? So I seen this. It was a lightning deal. It was about it was either six ninety nine or seven ninety nine. And I wanted to try it, so I said, well, let me get it because it had great reviews. I looked at the reviews on this, and I said I wanted to get it and try it because this had good reviews as well as the nose Frida. Now, what you do with this is um, you put it on your mouth, and you suck, and then it, it pulls out any snot out the baby nose. Now, I was telling my husband about this. He was like, ew, no, I'm not, I'm not doing that. But I'm like, uh-uh, it don't go in your mouth, right? It just collects in here it has a filter it's not like you sucking it all the way up through the tube you suck it right up in here and it's easy to wash when you finish you can change the filter it came with a pack of filters it came with extra filters to put in there and um we clean the baby nose it my daughter she actually had a little runny nose one time and i had to clean her nose and it worked great so this works good for me. And I paid half, less than half the price you would pay for the nose freeder for that. Also, another thing is a must have to have is a thermometer. Always have a thermometer. This is good to have in your diaper bag as well as um, in the baby's room because you never know you have to take the baby's temperature because babies get sick babies get fevers or they might get hot and you're just good to know what the temperature reading is because sometimes when you want to call the doctor or speak to a nurse and they might ask you you know what was the temperature and then um you'll have this around i even my 16 year old even had got sick recently and they asked me what was her temperature so it's good to have um, another thing that's good to have that I wanted to mention is the Glow Baby app. Now, I love the Glow Baby app. With that app, it will um, record all the baby logs. Like if you breastfeed, which breast you fed off of last, um, how long you breastfed for, and um, if you give your baby vitamin D drops, any type of medication, it logs that. And it keeps the time of everything, diaper changing, as well as the baby sleep schedule. So when you do diaper changing, it'll ask you if the baby did a number one or number two, what color was it, um, was it runny, mushy, hard? Like you can store all that in there and that's good to look back on too, especially if you do want to take the baby to the doctor and you have questions, you got that logged in there. So yes, um, the Glow Baby app is really good. I use it every diaper change and I use every feeding. So that works really good. Um, so thank you, you know, for tuning into my channel and those things that work best for me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if this is something that you think that I should try, because I'm always willing to try new things, please leave it in the comment below and let me know. Thank you.